my philosophy in healthcare is much more of an integrative uh, uh, you know, approach. Um, when I mean integrative, I mean taking the best of traditional healthcare, you know, whether it's MD or hospitals or surgeries or pharmaceuticals, and combine that with more alternative, which could be supplements, it could be diet, it could be massage th uh, therapy, could be acupuncture, and the name of my company, Harris Integrative Health and Nutrition, tries to uh, incorporate that into my philosophy. The best um, uh, therapy for everyone's patients is giving them the best possible health care, and that could be a combination of both traditional and alternative health uh, care. And that's what I try to accomplish in my practice. So four years ago, as most people know, I was diagnosed with, with leukemia and I did three rounds of chemo and it didn't really do a whole lot. So I, I came to Vermont and things were doing okay for a while, but unfortunately during this, this summer, my numbers, my white blood cells and some of the other markers started um, not going in the direction that I would, I would like to, to have them go. And so my oncologist, uh, Dr. Lockridge, and I decided that we would do a, a, a little more aggressive form of uh, chemo. And that was in, in August, and I didn't want to hurt my patients by con consistently canceling appointments, not showing up because I wasn't feeling well, or people show up and I'm not feeling well, so I have to cancel their appointments and I don't, don't, I just didn't think it was fair to uh, to them. So I took the month of August off to see how this more aggressive chemo would, would, would actually work. And I thought it was actually a great uh, timing and a great opportunity because I figured while I was doing that I could look for a new office space. And literally a week ago today uh, someone put me in touch with uh, Jim Mulkin and he showed me this place on Wednesday. I signed the lease and in five days we were able to get this, this office open. The size of the office is three times what I had. The layout is good, the parking is good, the location is good. So again, I'm very, very, very fortunate. One of the things I have always been very, very um, adamant about in my offices, I don't want it to look clinical. I don't want people to walk in and see the white walls and the white coats and the very clinical smell and the alcohol. Mm -hmm. I want it to look more like a, like a homey type of office so people feel more, more comfortable. And that was my, my goal in, in uh, getting this office up and going, uh, that this waiting room looks more like someone's living room. I just think it puts people at ease, they feel more comfortable, and I hope I accomplish that. In my first three days of marketing and letting people that I was uh, letting people know that I was back in practice, within three days we already booked up for the the whole week. And again, that has nothing to do with me. That has to do with the people in this community having trust, being loyal, um, just being being very supportive, very very nice. And I am I am so grateful for the people who have stuck with me during the. Uh, initial issues of, of uh, having leukemia, starting chemo, and going through everything else, and not being able to find an, an office space, and uh, everything has worked out, or has have, have worked out great. And like I said, I'm, I'm eternally grateful to the people in this community who have uh, taken me under the wing and, and has, have treated me just wonderfully.